It is time to stay alert and non-emotional about these markets. BlackRock and Trump are about to accelerate cryptocurrency through the roof. In today's video, I'm going to break down how Trump's new VP holds Bitcoin and he's pro-Bitcoin. We're also going to break down how Larry Fink, BlackRock, he completely flipped the script on us and is admitting that he did. So what are you going to do? Follow a YouTuber or the largest asset manager in the world and most likely the new president of the United States? It's time to get off the sidelines. This is the most critical time in human history for your family to switch your wealth timeline. The system is about to flip. Let's jump into it today. All right, so we're going to dive into this day. I am traveling, so my studio is a little different. So we'll do the best we can with audio and all that stuff. So I appreciate the understanding of that. So let's dive into this. First, we're going to watch this video from Larry Fink, the CEO of the largest asset manager in the world, also is on the board of trustees for the World Economic Forum to move their mission and purpose forward. Let's check this out. I know you have been a leader in willing to embrace crypto. You yeah. have made it so that people can be in Bitcoin. We hear that you are thinking about Ethereum. These are incredible things. How Now, BlackRock is not known as a, uh, a gunslinger by any means. So you obviously must believe that this may be as an alternative. Is this an alternative uh, in order to be able, because of the a deficit, maybe something long-term people should have? How ironic is this? The guy who flooded us in and flooded us out of crypto, Jim Cramer, is asking these questions. So what he just said is, is it due to the deficit? So pay attention. We 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 in this channel know the micro and macroeconomics. Okay, we're not focused on the pump and dumps. We're not trying to get you rich in crypto. We're focused on the big long term. Okay, this is about deficit spending. This is about America being looked at unfavorably now. It's the war narrative. Wealthy money is putting their money into a flight to safety. So we are on track so listen to what he says absolutely um as you know i was a skeptic <laughs> yes i was you know i was a proud skeptic yes. <laughs> <laughs> and i studied it learned about it and i came away saying okay you know oh, my opinion five years ago was wrong here's my opinion today this is what i believe in today i believe the opportunity today i believe bitcoin is legitimate I'm not trying to say there's not bet misuses like everything else, but it is a legitimate financial instrument that allows you to have maybe uncorrelated, non-correlated type of returns. I believe it is an instrument that you invest in when you're more frightened, though. It is an instrument when you believe that co countries are debasing their currency, de debasing their currency by excess deficits, and some countries are. I believe we have um, countries where you're frightened of your everyday existence and have an opportunity to. Invest. So he said, first, there's some countries that are debasing their currency. Some countries are. And he kind of hinted, he's hinting at America, right? The currency is devaluing. And you have other countries that are scared of their government, things like that. Invest in, in a, a, something that is outside your country's uh, you know, control, then you can have more financial control. And so I'm a, a major believer that there is a role for Bitcoin in, in portfolios. I believe you're going to see that as, an, as a, one of the asset classes that we all look at. I look at it as digital gold, as I said before. And I do believe there's a, a, there's a, there's a real need for everyone to look at it as, as one alternative to, I would say, the optimism that I have in the world. If you want to hedge hope, Bitcoin is not a, an instrument for hope unless you're hopeful you're going to make a lot of money on it. <laughs> but it, I, I look at it as a vehicle in which you're expressing your your financial acumen in something that you're more frightened of the world. You're more frightened of your existence. And I believe there's a great industrial use for it. And I, and I think a lot of people are missing that. I so he keeps saying that you're frightened, frightened, like he's hinting. He knows where we're heading. He understands what's happening right now. At the same time, we have this polarizing presidential race right now, and Donald Trump picked his VP, J.D. Vance, and they created a pro-crypto presidential ticket. So J.D. Vance, the author of the bestseller, Hillbilly uh, LG, has been critical of crypto regulation of the SEC. So he does not like how the SEC has been regulating crypto. Vance, however, brings his own street cred with the presidential race. Since being elected, to Senate in 2022, he's introduced and voted in favor of pro-crypto legislation, is a holder of a number of digital currencies, 
including Bitcoin, and has been staunch critic of the SEC, Gary Gensler's regulatory crackdown on digital assets. Let's keep moving just a little bit. So Trump's VP picks J.D. Vance. He owns over 100,000 in Bitcoin. He also owns other cryptocurrencies. We also have Bitcoin Magazine report that just in former Congresswoman Tulsa Gabbard says Bitcoin is about liberty. What do you think Larry Fink was just saying? And being able to transact how you want. The largest asset manager in the world, Congress, and now the presidential race is about cryptocurrency. Okay. Bitcoin jumps as market sees increased odds of election victory for pro crypto Trump. And to finish out today's video, we have Trump's speech at Bitcoin conference will mark a pivotal moment for cryptocurrency. Interesting, right? It's a wild, wild switch since we've been through this model. Sorry, my camera's a little off here. Things are changing, family. And we've been reporting this since 2020. And the way to remain calm around this is to look at the macro and microeconomics. Okay. I want you to study the risk pyramid. Just like Larry Fink said, he said, it's if you hope to make a lot of money, hope is not a strategy. You have to have a strategy. Bitcoin, cryptocurrency can be one of them. I use insurance. We're going to be using real estate. We're using businesses. The beauty and the essence of what's happening within cryptocurrency is it's on the left side of the risk pyramid and it's extremely risky and extremely volatile. Okay. It's got a lot of growth potential because we're in the speculative phase. Okay. There's not full true utility yet. That's a beauty in it. It's kind of like an Apple moment, a Google moment, an Amazon moment where people are like, ah, we're not going to have things delivered to our house within three to four hours or 24 hours like that off the internet. But look at Amazon now, right? We're not going to be using these Apple iPhones and these computers and be able to be in a hotel traveling around the world doing all these things. No, that's not going to work out. We're going to interact human beings. We're not going to be on Zoom calls. Boom. One of the uh, greatest investments in the world, right? That's the moment we're in right now. So you have to develop financial literacy, discipline, learn debts and non-negotiables, create some income. Once you create income, you learn how to invest. Once you learn how to invest, you learn how to profit. Once you profit, you learn how to secure and you learn how to grow. So from the risk pyramid on the left side, when it's high risk, high return, which is crypto, I have an exit strategy on the way up. So on the back end of this year, if they lower rates in September, we'll see a pump in our, our assets. And as we go into the bull run, 2020, back into 2024, 2025, you're going to see a parabolic move based on historical patterns, right? And people should be pulling on the way up. I pull down and I secure my wealth. I insure my wealth, okay? I'm also investing more in my companies. I'm going to be getting more detailed in my companies like information, technology, attention, education. I'll be using Bitcoin as my gold. So this is very, very exciting time. So we'll continue to report this week uh, as we see new things come in. Uh, again, you know, I'm so glad that Trump and his family is safe. Uh, my heart prayers again go out to the family that that uh lost that firefighter uh and again we need to heal that's what this country needs to do we need to heal we need to heal our soul we need to heal our hearts and we need to get our own shit together we need to focus on our actions our behaviors and using our free will to expand consciousness so if you need any support from my team i want to be very clear if you click the description down below okay you have a needs assessment that you can fill out. That's for retirement strategies, okay? We can talk to you about the retirement strategies that I just focused on, okay? Also, if you're wanting to join me and coach with me live, I uh, have a four week, okay? It's a four week um, live workshop. You're with me live on Zoom calls, okay? And then after the four weeks, you're on a monthly call with me every single month, every month. As I meet with my team, I come back and report exactly what I'm doing. So if that's something where you want to demystify all this, you want to be in a community so you're not running all over the place, um, I can support you with that. So there's two things down there. Needs assessment is for retirement strategies, absolutely free consultation. And then the other one is a four-week webinar series. That's my education academy. So um, appreciate you guys. And the education academy, when you click, you'll have to interview with a team member and to see if you're a good fit. So I love you guys. I appreciate you. As we always say, warriors, rise, get your shit together. Oh, and it's in the description of the video or on my social media platform. Click the link. Love you guys. See you soon.